Oh, I forgot about these. I hey, Bolo Buddies, this Goodwill Ben's find should make me over $500. Maybe closer to seven or eight. We'll see. But I parted it out. I wasn't sure what to do with it in the beginning. And right now, this is a reseller vlog. We are going to pack. We are going to pull orders. I'm going to show you how I pull orders going to show you how I ship some things, going to give you some reseller tips along the way. And at the end of the video, I have an unbagging of what I'm talking about and what I think I'm going to make some big money on. So stay tuned for that and let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Um, I did sell one item so far, which is already a really nice profit. So looking forward to seeing how this goes, but I'm gonna put that unboxing with pop-ups of how I listed everything at the end of the video. You guys are gonna be really proud of me because this stuff was a little dirty and I actually cleaned it up, put it all together. Oh, I'm so impressed with myself. All right, let's get started on what sold. We're going to start with the first sold. Oh, it's so stinking cute. And this is going out to our viewer. So thank you so much. This is going out to Mother738. And she also has an eBay store. So I'm going to show you her store as well. Um, this is the uh, third item I believe she's purchased from me. But anyway, she purchased this for my full asking price of $77 and... I can't remember how many cents. I'll pop up a screenshot for you guys and the buyer paid shipping. This is definitely a bolo. If you missed my video of this guy, I teach you how to look up comps, how to decide how to price your item when the comps or the comparables are confusing because it happens sometimes and the markets are always changing. In this case, this guy is starting to go for more than he used to go for. So I'm gonna show you all of that in the video and I will link it down below. All right, so this is her eBay store. It's Pinky's Second Hand Store and she's got some really great stuff. So um, you can do an advanced search on eBay and you can find her store and check out what else she has listed. And this is who bought the frog. And I'm pretty sure from what her email said, the items that she's buying from me, she is going to resell in her store. So she's basically just doing that to help me and support the channel. And then she's just going to relist the item. So I super appreciate that. That's super thoughtful. Uh, oh, wow. Look at that. Anybody collect buttons? 2,000 plus vintage buttons. $89.99. Wow. If you collect buttons, that seems like a stellar deal. All right. So she's got some other pages there. So you guys go check her out again that is right here pinky's second hand store so for viewer sales um if you guys tell me you're a viewer i like to try to give you guys a shout out a lot of times people don't tell me and i have no idea i have a couple other items that sold and two of them i think went to a viewer but she's never really said she's a viewer i'm just I just have a hunch. But anyway, um, so if you see me shout out a store when they um, buy something, I have asked permission to do that. So um, I don't just automatically do that. I try to keep you guys' information private. Some people um, don't necessarily want to share that, you know, they bought something. So if you want me to share, let me know. And if you don't, then don't tell me. All right. Okay, so the first item we're gonna go grab is a Boy Scouts patch. I sold it for $25. The buyer was all in for $31.79. We are gonna go over to Tote 44 and dig for that. Um, I've had some people ask me, how do I know where my items are? So I am gonna show you real quick um, how I know. All right, so you can see right here, I am on my seller's sold page and you can see it says custom SKU Tote 44. So that is how I know where to look for this item. I am going to go and find it right there in Tote 44. Welcome to Crazy Town. Let's find Tote 44. There it is. It's right here. 
Easy peasy. Okay, what are we looking for? I already forgot what I'm looking for. Oh my goodness. What did I just talk to you guys about? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys are sitting there yelling at the screen. At the screen. I honestly forget what I sold. Just that quick. Just that quick I forgot. Oh boy. Oh, it's the patch. It's the patch. That's right. The tiny little patch. Do you know why I forgot? It's right here. I forgot because I had, when I was walking over here, I'm like, remember tw tote 22 so you can grab the next item. So I put too much in my head at one time. So can you guess where we're going? We're going to tote 22. All right, here's tote 22, but you can see right here, some items in tote 29 because the day I was listing, I accidentally put stuff in tote 29. So I put a little cheater there. So in case I can't find the item I'm looking for, I know the next place to look is tote 29. How smart is that? Uh, because, you know, sometimes I mess up. So what I'm looking for right now is a miniature baby bottle. And when I say miniature, oh my goodness, it is teeny tiny. Here are, I wonder if it's in here. These are those, um, I forget what they're called. Oh, mini brands. And some of these can do pretty well on their own. I don't think it's in there. So we're gonna look through here, see if we can find it. It's more than likely gonna be in with something else because it's so small. So I'll look here for a minute with you guys as I talk to you. But it goes to an OMG, LOL, I think dog or something, I don't know. I think it came with the animal and the animal didn't work, so I parted out the bottle. And I sold the bottle for $7.00 plus shipping. So I'm going to continue looking here. If it's not here, I'm going over to tote 29. So stay tuned. Oh my goodness. Look at this toilet paper. I think I still have this listed. Um, I can't remember if I took it down during COVID because remember when they had everybody was price gouging or whatever. This obviously is, um, it might be on Poshmark or Mercari or I may have taken it down, but hilarious, right? congratulations toilet paper and good luck toilet paper and they are by um three cheers good time rolls ha huh. how fun is that definitely vintage i'm trying to see it says i can't see the date 1999 maybe so if anybody's looking for some vintage uh toilet paper how great is that look how cool this is little uh pins on this vintage display i got this beautiful lace there are so many incredible things that i still have listed okay so i didn't find it in here i'm gonna check this bag one more time and then i'm heading over to tote 29. all right i'm pulling stuff out of tote 29 and this is definitely a bag of goodwill ben's items and i just saw it it's right there it's that little bottle that is what i sold for seven dollars plus shipping so it does color change so that's kind of cool. And this like straps around the dog's neck. So let me know in the comments, would you have walked right past it or would you have listed it? $7 plus shipping for this. I'm curious to see if you guys think this is a waste of time or a good use of time. And I got to be honest with you. I'm not going to be offended if you think it's a waste of time because most people are not going to list this, but the person that needs this is gonna be really, really happy that I took the time to list it. And it didn't take me very long to list, and I made some money on a slow day. So thankful, thankful for every sale. Just gotta remind you guys, if you need bubble wrap, it might be time to order American Bubble Boy. I have a link down below if you use that. That's my referral link. I appreciate it when you guys use that. Even if you already have an American Bubble Boy account, use my link and I will get credit. Blah. I will get credit and I appreciate it so much. All right, we're heading over to Tote 25 to a really, really super cool vintage item. I sold this for $30 plus the buyer paid shipping, and I'm going to show you what it is. All right, let's find it. Let's find it. Got a cool straw hat. Anybody need a hat? Let's see. Somebody says they like, oh, this is all Imaginex. Uh, figures. I can't remember if that's on eBay or just Poshmark. Sometimes I just put things on certain sites if it depends. 
depends on like the weight and stuff like that but most items are always on ebay almost always all right i'm not finding it i'm gonna turn off the camera and look for it so you guys don't go insane i'll be right back Oh my goodness, I already, I found them. I went through tote 25 and it wasn't there. So I went and did my little trick and I checked two other totes. It wasn't there. And I'm like, I'm going back to 25. Well, I had it bubble wrapped and it was stuffed down in a corner. So I wasn't seeing it, but I just want to show you how cool these little nurse figures are. They are super, super cool. Um, just really, really cool pieces. And I sold these for $30 plus shipping. And you guys, I forgot to tell you where I've been getting stuff. I got these at a church sale for $2. So let me go back to my orders and I'll tell you where I got the other stuff as well. Um, the frog, the plush frog came from the Goodwill bins. And let's see. And what else have I showed you? The patch came from, I think I told you, an estate sale for a buck. And then the little bottle uh, came from the Goodwill bins and, you know, it was probably 10 cents. Next item is one of those items that I tell you guys about that is clothing that I've had listed for a very, very long time that I had duplicates of. And I'm getting down near the end. Now, I do have that closet over there that's full of clothes that I'm probably going to be bringing to whatnot. Um, because I'm just never going to list them on eBay and whatnot is just a quick way for me to move the inventory fast. So that's probably what I'm going to do. So if you're not following me on whatnot, make sure that you do that. There's a link down below. You'll get $15 to shop if you use my referral link to join whatnot. Now, if you're already on whatnot and you're thinking about selling on whatnot, I do have a seller referral link down there also, and that will let them know that I referred you. So you may or may not get accepted quicker if you use that link. I've heard you do, but I can't confirm that or guarantee that for sure, but it doesn't hurt to use my link. And I appreciate it because it's a referral link. So let's go find this item. All right, so I'm getting down to the end. These are Lane Bryant um, blouses and tops. I've got some uh, garters in all different sizes. I've got this cute little top, but these are all Lane Bryant. These are all available in my store, but this is the one I am looking for. Hoping this is a size 22, 24. It is. So that is good to go. I want to make sure that I have another one in here because sometimes my inventory gets mixed up and I'm showing that I have one left. And if I don't see it here, I am going to make sure that I remove it. The one that I, when I, I noticed it when I was taking it off Poshmark. So uh, Poshmark said inventory one. So I need to remove that from Poshmark. So this is going out and I'm going to let you know um, what I sold it for. Oh, how the items work that I got out, got from a store called Discount Fashion Warehouse is I would get all of my inventory to the checkout I would take the total number of items I purchased because it would tell me that and I would divide it out by my total cost. Usually my average cost of goods was $3. So on items like this that sell for less, $3 is a high cost of goods. But sometimes I would have jeans or blazers that would sell for $30 to $50. So it kind of, some of the blazers went for like 80 to 100 in the beginning, but um, it really just depended on what I picked up. But that's how I easily figured out cost of goods for my inventory just to kind of give me an idea when I was listing things. So my accountant just gets the totals and he deals with it that way. The cost of goods is just for me to know when I'm listing things. So average of $3 a piece, if that makes sense. Okay. So let me show you here what I mean. Um, I listed these on September 27th of 2017 and I am out of stock as of now, out of stock of this style I have sold 19 of these. Um, if you click on, oh, I don't see, usually you can click on this number, but because it's sold out, it's not going to let me. Um, I would say that the price had, it was maybe more than this in the past and I have decreased my price. So I sold this for $7.43 plus shipping, but that's just an idea of, yes, I've had it listed since 
2017 and it is 2023 and I just sold my final one. Guess what I sold? Ha ha ha! You guys are gonna love this. Does anybody recognize this tote back here in the corner? Tote E. Does anybody remember what's in here? You might be yelling at your screen. All right, let me see if I can find it. It is very, very small. That's empty. I may turn my camera off and find it because um, I'll be right back. Found it. Hands, replacement hands for dolls. These are the Ever High dolls or I'll pop up a screenshot. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, $9.30, I do believe, for these, and the buyer paid shipping. These came out of that mystery box. Um, it wasn't a mystery box. I'm sorry. It was a toy dibble box, and it was a hot mess box, and everybody was cracking up and cracking up when Donna was going through this stuff on her channel, her YouTube channel, Donna Bottolino. and I bid on it to get the bidding started, and I can't remember what I bid up to. I talk about it in the video. So go check out this video. But um, Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger ended up buying me the box. <laughs> and you will not believe what she paid for this box. But each time I do a reseller vlog, I sell something from that box. It is an amazing box. You guys would watch that video and you're going to be like, no way would I pay that for that. And Donna was even in shock at how much it sold for. But Noelle, she knew. She knew. And go watch that video. I will link it down below. And subscribe to Donatella Bottolino and Noelle. It's actually Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. And I will link them down below as well. And uh, Donatella is Donatella on whatnot. And I believe that Noelle is Farm Girl Scavenger on Whatnot. So be sure to follow both of them on Whatnot as well. Don't forget, I have that link down below where you can get $15 free money on Whatnot for all of you guys holding out. Go join Whatnot and get your free money. It's $15 with my referral link. It's down below. Okay, this next item I think was purchased by a viewer, but not 100% sure because she has not made that clear. So I will keep her username private, but she bought two items off me for a total of $18 plus shipping. So we're going to go grab those items. I'm going to tell you where I got them, what I paid for them, and um, I just told you what they sold for. You know, I was just thinking I had some almonds, the ones with that still have the, like the like not shaved like white almonds, but like the ones that still kind of have the surface shell not the shell but you know what I mean like the the stuff that gets stuck in your teeth yeah that stuff and I'm like I didn't check my teeth before I started this video so if I have anything in my teeth it's just almonds it's okay it's just almonds sorry guys I forgot to let you see me dig so I went ahead and I've got another one of these horses listed separately but I added this guy onto it and am selling it like that. So that's what I did to make this listing stand out. I put two items together. Right, the next item she got with it is over in tote 20. So let me show you what it is here. All right, we're in tote 20. Tote 20, it is these adorable chairs. They are so stinking cute. Look at them, look at them. They're so cute. I can't remember what these are from, but I'll pop up my listing with my title. But I just adore these. I just think they are so cute for like a little uh, dollhouse, right? Dollhouse chairs. Okay, so this next item is going out on Poshmark. It's really just a bread and butter item. And it's really bread and butter because I sent out an offer. It is right here. It's a Littlest Pet Shop Replacement Apple. How did I figure that out? I figured that out with Google Lens. Google Lens is free. It is a tool that every reseller needs to have on their phone because it's going to help you research items. I have a video that shows you how to use it. So I will link that down below. Um, I sold this for $9.00. Poshmark takes $2.95 for anything, I believe, under $15. So they took the $2.95, and then I sent discounted shipping. I sent an offer, and they accepted my offer. So that was another $2.02. .02. So my net earnings on this was a whopping 
$4.03. But that's okay because I got this out of a thrift store mystery toy box and I probably have pennies in it. So a sale is a sale, right? And this sold on Poshmark. All right, so let's go grab it. It's in tote 32. All right, we're in tote 32. It's a little like apple looking thing. So let me know, guys, how have your sales been? And don't forget to wait till the end of the video because I am going to show you how I part out that vintage item that I had to put together and I had to clean. You guys are going to be so proud of me. I actually cleaned something. Oh, my goodness. Where is it? Like when I say cleaned, I like ran water over it. I wiped it down. I do throw things in the washing machine. I don't mean like that. That's easy. Okay, this is the replacement part. But if I get hard goods and they're a little dusty, I usually just disclose it. I don't typically clean it. I'm kind of a lazy reseller. Would you like to play together? But this was worth cleaning. So here it is. It's got a little bit of information right there. And it's a replacement apple. Can you believe it? There it is. This next item is a plush that I got at the Goodwill Bins. It sold for $18.60 plus shipping. And it's a nice little bolo. It sold pretty quick, not super quick, but pretty quick for plush. All right, I'm gonna show it to you. Let's go over to Plush Tote 6 and see if we can find it quickly. Here we are. Oh, it's right there on top. I see the little hiney. All right, let me grab it. Look at the cuteness. Look at the cuteness. It is by Jelly Cat. If you don't know this tag, get to know it. It is definitely a Bolo brand. Some of them go for big money and some of them go for bread and butter, but they are definitely something to look for. And they are so well made and so cute and usually really, really soft and just a great, great product. All right, in case you're wondering and you're new to the channel, how am I gonna ship these little hands and this little bottle? I'm gonna wrap it in a strip of bubble wrap and then I am gonna pop it down in one of these pillow things. And then I will put this inside of a poly mailer. That's what I do with a lot of my small toys. So here was the little bundle deal. I am going to wrap these items in bubble wrap before I box them. Um, these were, this was first class and this was first class. And when you bundle two first class items in my store, select items, most items are included. But if you add it to your cart at the buy it now, you'll get discounts. Plus you'll get um, the $5 shipping if it applies to those items. Or you can send me an offer and I can discount the shipping for you if you want multiple things from my store. Now, I think she made me an offer on each of these items and it still automatically applied the discount shipping. If for some reason it does not apply the discount shipping, just reach out to me. So I am using the old bubble wrap on the plastic items because if you're new here, um, I bought plastic bubble wrap from a local company and it was really, really bad. I didn't know how bad it was until I got American Bubble Boy and realized how great theirs was. It made me realize just how bad the air is in these and but you know I can still use the old stuff for plastic items and just double it up and these aren't super breakable and I'm going to be putting them in a box to protect them but my American Bubble Boy bubble wrap I am definitely using that like on things that are breakable but I'm trying to use up the old bubble wrap so if you get some of my old bubble wrap um, and it's not that great. This is not American Bubble Boy. Just saying. Um, I do have a referral link down below for American Bubble Boy. I've been using it probably about four months now and I love it. So um, even if you have, like I said earlier, an American Bubble Boy account, you can still click on that link down below and I will get credit. Um, so that really helps me out and it costs you nothing. So I greatly appreciate it if you guys are ordering bubble wrap to use my link down below. All right, let's get this packed up. Today, and like I said, thankful for every sale. I am so happy to get rid of these guys. Like you have no idea. I am so happy. I'm not making much money, but they are out of my life and into someone else's who's going to take good care of them, hopefully fix them up and make them work or who knows what they're going to do with them. But anyway... See you later, guys. Actually, I'm not going to see you later. This is so long and farewell. Do you guys remember the little cow from my last reseller vlog that sold right at the end? 
that had a missing ear? Guess what? Unpaid item strike. They didn't pay. They never communicated. I reached out and this item is back in my store. And what makes this one special is the mane. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that. So um, there's different horses with different manes. And this one, this mane is a little bit harder to find. All right, Bolo Buddies, so I did a video on how to make more money on whatnot, and that is by utilizing the marketplace, using the buy it now section of your whatnot. So if you're not doing that, definitely take advantage of that. Um, these are some of the items that I do have listed currently, and I'm pricing them cheap. So definitely go check out my buy it now section. These items will also be available at my next live show. So stay tuned for that. And again, the link to join whatnot is down below and you can get $15 to shop. But I just wanted to share this with you in case you're on whatnot and not utilizing this feature. All right, Bolo Buddies, this one here I picked up at a church sale for 25 cents. It's in the original packaging. It is super cute, and I sold it for $15.50 plus shipping. Let's go grab it. Money pile. Money pile. All right, you guys, what do you want me? <laughs> Let's try that again. What do you want me to bring to Whatnot for my next live show? Let me flip the camera. I have a tote of hats. This is definitely just from a garage sale. I don't remember what's in there. I can't tell. Let's see. I've got tons and tons of Paw Patrol. I could have an entire whatnot Paw Patrol sale. This is Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol sale? Anyone? This is a bunch of, I think there's sewing stuff, there's beads, there's crafters items. I've got all of this really cool vintage stuff here. Oh my goodness, I have stuff everywhere. Cool stuff in here. These totes are full of stuff and to be honest, I can't get it all listed. There's just no way because... I have a sourcing problem. These are all yearbooks. If you don't know, some yearbooks can be worth money. Um, we've just got bags and bags and bags of jewelry. I believe. Oh, I forgot about these. I got these at the Goodwill. These are um, mystery jars. Um, and they are, they're still like taped. <laughs> I'm so awful. I buy stuff and I put it in totes. Um, I could do a show where I literally take it out of here in front of you guys and just sell the stuff as I take it out. Would you guys be interested in that? That could be fun, right? Like a mystery vase unboxing. They're like in vases. I think this is the one my husband went through. He was like looking for precious metals, gold and silver, and then he just threw it back in the jar. So I have not been through this one, but um, I don't think he took anything out of it, but I would love. Oh, cute, a little cupcake ring. Is that a cupcake? Oh, it's marked. What does that say? I can't read it. Oh, it's so cute. Anyway, it's branded something. But anyway, if you guys would be interested in seeing a whatnot show with these different jars, we could do one, two, three, four, five shows. Um, as long as I got through the entire thing in a show, that could be fun. Um, I know this is full of jewelry. This is full of jewelry. And I, I've i got more and more jewelry. All these totes are full. <laughs> Not of jewelry, of course, but of stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. I have tons and tons of toys. So, um, yeah, look back there. Those are huge totes way back there as well. This is a money mountain, you guys. It's my money mountain, and I am going to move it on whatnot. So, if you're not following me on whatnot, that link is down below. You can get $15 free dollars to shop free money with my referral link down below in the description. Just click on that. Join Whatnot with it, and you'll have $15 in your account to shop. And 
let me know what you guys want me to bring. Do you want to see toys? Do you want to see jewelry? Do you want to see crafters items? Do you want to see vintage items? You let me know. I think I have a little bit of everything. I'm walking back over to my computer because I don't remember which tote the item was in. <laughs> tote 35, let's go find it. I just got totally sidetracked by my money pile. Totally sidetracked. Um, tote 35, all right. Right, we are in tote 35. Let me see if I can find it. The cuteness, here it is. How cute is that? It's so cute. $15.50 plus shipping. This next item I lost money on. Um, I think I got it at TJ Maxx. I paid almost $14 for it. It's a dress. It retailed, I think, for $155. I'll pop it up right here. And I just sold it for like $9 in some sense. But I've had it listed for a very long time. And I'm happy it sold. And I'm going to show it to you. And I have other things like that in my store. Um, not that I paid as much for, but just that I'm ready to sell. Um, let me flip the camera here. Okay, so you see this clothing rack here? I want it gone. So I need to sell all of these pants and all of the jeans on the other side. And then I will only have one clothing rack left. This used to be all clothing racks back when I did clothes. Okay, so I think, I think there might, yeah, I'm pretty sure... It was clothing racks to the wall because when we moved in here, that is all I did was clothes. And I have completely switched to hard goods. I have a whole closet full of clothes that um, I'm planning to bring to whatnot because I keep saying I'm gonna list them and I'm never gonna list them. So I'm just gonna bring them to whatnot. So when I say I'm happy this dress sold, even though I'm taking a loss, I'm at least making some of my money back. Now, let's hope. I can find it here. Oh, I think this is it right here. It's really cute. It's a really cute little dress. It's got the little ruffle at the top. And let's see. Let's try that again. Let's see if I can find the tag. And right there's the original tag of $155. So what a steal of a deal, right? This next item sold for $24.80 plus shipping. It is a plush and it is so cute. I got it at a garage sale for $1. All right, it's in plush tote 10. Plush tote 10, I think it's over here. Plush tote 10, right there. So people have asked, how do I know where my item is? I put it in the custom skew like I showed you earlier. And then all of my totes are marked like you just saw. And that's how I find my items. And as long as I put it in the right tote, it's pretty simple. Is that it? I think that's it. Yep, there it is. Cute, right? Super soft. Sewn eyes is a good thing to put in the title. I don't know if I actually did that for this one, but a lot of people look for eyes that are sewn. If you have the extra um, space in your title, sewn eyes is a good keyword because sometimes people do look for that as a keyword. So if I can figure out what it goes to, I might be able to part this out. Like these cardboard pieces, who knows? They could be a bolo. Somebody could be looking for these. You just never know, but I don't know what it goes to. So my dollhouse experts, can anybody help me out? All right, so this. Okay, so I posted this video on my other YouTube channel and Toy Attic reached out and helped me identify which dollhouse this was. So I decided to part it out and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that. Um, one item has sold, which is gonna cover the cost of everything and more, definitely a bolo. Uh, is this gonna be long tail? I'm gonna say yes, probably because I have the items on the higher end side, but I am willing to take um, offers. So I do have best offer on everything. This is at the, the bins. Let's see what we have in here. All right, if anybody knows, these look like some sort of wall, like the different wallpapers you can put in. Maybe you build a structure with this. Not certain. 
I was more interested in this stuff right here and condition is a little rough. I'm not seeing any markings. So what I thought was going to be incredible may, may not be. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I thought this was going to be something really amazing. I'm totally bombed. Uh, that could be a table. It looks like the stuff is just like completely fallen apart. No markings whatsoever. So much for my super score, right? Now, can I still make money? Probably, but it's not what I had hoped for at all. This is kind of cool. It's a vintage stove. I just don't understand why there's no, no marks whatsoever. Hmm. It's like everything's been destroyed. Huh. Like, what does that go to? It's another duck picture. Yep. Just taken apart. Completely, completely completely destroyed. Oh, let's get rid of that. That's sharp. There's an old lamp. Huh. Who would do such a thing? Who would do such a thing? Just take it all apart. Huh. Well... I'll probably, I mean, I'll make my money back with just these little things right here, but this is definitely not what I expected. This is a little sink faucet. Are these like bathtubs? Big bummer. If anybody recognizes any of this stuff, let me know in the comments of the video because... I, uh, I don't know. I was hoping for a home run, but I'm feeling like the right person is going to have to want this and deal with it. So, if anybody has any idea, let me know. There's a bunch of, like, little things down here. I mean, I'm sure I can part it out and do okay, but I just, I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think. Wait, what on earth are these? Huh? Those are different. So yeah, these little like things are kinda, kinda fun. I'll have to dig through this a little more thoroughly. another uh I thought it was a mirror but it's actually the front of probably one of these pieces right here this probably fits into it like why did somebody destroy all this stuff I don't understand huh all right who's gonna be the first to identify what set this goes with <laughs> So odd. I mean, I could sell the toilets. I think this is probably some sort of bathtub. So how would you guys list it? What would you sell it for? Would you just like do an auction and start it low and let somebody make an offer? Would you part it out? I mean, somebody who does dollhouse stuff, I'm sure that this would be cool because some of these, you know, these colors are great. 
so this here, I'm going to guess, is goes on the bottom of this chair. Probably fits right in there, and then you make a chair out of it. But it looks like a whole lot of work, and I feel like I'd rather just sell it all to one person. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. All right, I'm going to try to get some shots of some of the smaller stuff down here on the bottom. So you see how these blue circles, I think these are the legs. I don't know if I can identify. Oh, look at this. What's this? Is this like a TV? That looks kind of cool. If I can identify what, what this goes to. Like at first I saw it and I thought maybe it was Mark's. But now I'm like, mm, Mark's is usually marked on the bottom. But here's a little uh, sink that actually has the, the piece on it. I don't know. I just don't know what to do. I'm not usually like stumped. And then I think these pieces might build, I'm guessing like a square structure. And then you can change the or maybe a floor, the color of the cardboard. I mean, if I can figure out what it goes to, these cardboard pieces might be a bolo, who knows? So help me out guys, help me out. Oh my goodness, Bobo Buddies. If you've been here since I used to sit on the couch and do my videos, let me know down in the comments. I used to sit on the couch and do all my videos with my little Bobo Buddy sign and my owls above me, and that's how I did every single video. That's how I grew this channel. And now I do so many different things. But if you're one of the original Bolo Buddies, like I, you've been following me probably for almost four years, let me know down in the comments. Thank you all so much, new and old, for being here. I appreciate all of you. And let me know which item that I sold was your favorite. Thanks for watching.